Ladies and welcome back to the channel today's video. Um, we are going to be talking and discussing about um, the current J League player which has joined Celtic, um, Tomoki. Uh, we talked about the other day, Tomoki Iwata. Uh, if that's his name, probably again, probably wrong, but I say. Uh, he is the current J League player here and Japanese international. Um, he will join. He will join Celtic. Um, and he's doing his business. He's doing his um, business quite quickly. You know, messing about, of course. Um, well, there's a few midfielders now not contribute, McCarthy and Eddie Gucci and Albergard, but who will depart in January? There's reports that, we did a video on the other day, reports that saying that Albergard was contract was getting terminated, although, his, although he was on seen on the bench at the Hibs game during, um, during the week there. Um, so that is interesting. Um, but let's see the statement. So Japanese star Tomoki Iwata joins at the hoops. Celtic Football delayed to announce the player um, subject to national clearance. Just last month, Tomoki was named the J League Player of the Year after a fantastic season for his club as he left the League Championship title in Japan. The 25 year old can play in a variety of midfield and defensive positions. He will join Celtic initially alone with a compulsory, but with a compulsory purchase clause included, meaning he will be a Celtic, who will have Celtic up on a permanent basis from the summer um, on a long term deal. Celtic manager Posse Coglu said, We are really delighted to bring in Tomoki. To Celtic, and I'm sure you'll be a player that our supporters will like. Because uh, when he says he's a very, he's a versatile player who can operate in defence, um, or midfield. Uh, a, a really committed footballer, some great attributes. He's a great age for us when when his career on the right um, trajectory, but he is already a, has a good level of experience. He's going to say he has a brilliant, he had a brilliant season. He's very deserving of the um, accolade and the recently received as Japanese player of the year. I'm not sure you can also bring this real high level quality to our squad. Um Tomoki said I'm really delighted to join Celtic, such so a huge and successful club known across the world. I can't wait to be on my journey with Celtic. Everything about Celtic excites me, the scale of the club, the supporters, the atmosphere, the style of football with the club is famous for and of course with working with the manager and players. I'm really looking forward to getting started to meeting my two new teammates and begin work on bringing our fans and more success. I mean, let's just talk about that away. Tomoki, Alistair Johnson, Yuki Kobayashi. Three signings and before the window is even open. That's fantastic business from Ange Postal. That's superb business from uh, the main man himself. That is absolutely superb. Um, absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, so you can play this. Tomoki can play defence or midfield. Um, his former club is Okami with Manners. His former club of Ange Postal as well. Um, so yeah. Um, he can play defence or midfield. Um, he is looking very. Um, he's looking. He's looking like a player. We discussed that the other day in the previous show. I think it was a previous show, the Hibs match. That we talked about it as well. Yeah, I think we did. Um, that was. A, he's a great player. He looks like a great player. Obviously, obviously with the, you know, um, what do you call it? Winning the Jap the J League Player of the Year. You know, obviously. Um, but yeah, he looks like a really good player. Will that will fit in now? I don't know. But he will be joining in January, and he also will be able to play with Alistair Johnson and Luke Kobayashi. Will we see Albergard go? Will we see McCarthy go? Will we see you, um, Eddie Gucci go? Which one will leave in January? Will we see Albergard? You know, who will leave? They've hardly contributed. Um, obviously, some due to injuries. Albergard and Albergard and McCarthy and, um, what do you call him? Um, Eddie Gucci. But um, Albergard came in the park. He's only done 20-something minutes of football. There's obviously gone something around the background. He's not played much, you know what I mean? Um, he's not been on the bench much. That's probably the first time he's been on the bench in ages. Uh, I'll be guard. So maybe the spec or the speculation they had to don't know do something maybe change the idea of that. But yeah, I think um, I see I'll be guard going terminate. I really do. Uh, must be something going on with the engine, you know, behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Um, but I um, I'll leave it there. Um, if you haven't enjoyed, I know it's a short video, but it's just to discuss it really. Um, I will leave it there. And um, I he looks like a good player. A free signs already. To bring it on. And bring on one day. I mean, that's superb today from the B team boys. What a superb win. 2 0, 2 1 down to 5 2 1. Superb boys. Melt like that Monday. Bring it on. Bring Monday on. Bring the Rangers on. Um, and I'll be back on Monday. Um, so, yeah, Monday is it's, it's a task now. You know, it's a derby game, you know. But if it's more like we see the B team game, you know, I got some goal. At, at, I got some goal. I got to laugh at that one. The own goal from McCann. I think it was McCann. Um, the Rangers player. That was a wrong goal and a half. Cracker one. What a cracker. Um, but yeah, B team played very very well today, and celebrated very well. The, you know the, the fans, um, and yeah, I hope for that on Monday. Um, it's gonna be, 
it's a tough game. It is, it's going to be a tough game, right? Well, it's, it's a tough game. Both teams are in decent form. Michael Beal for new manager, first old firm, first derby. Um, against Ange Postcall, Ange Postcall first, you know what I mean? Uh, so it'll be a different task, but we've seen Rangers play before throughout a couple of games. They've struggled a couple of games. Ross County, Hibs, uh, they did come back, of course, yes. Morelos apparently is fit. I'm not concerned about Rangers, I'm concerned about ourselves. Just focus on ourselves on Monday. I think we'll be fine. I think, yeah, okay, the one, if you look at one back in April to now, that one in September, a lot different, you know what I mean? We, we, struck, we let that in too much, you know, the atmosphere and all that, and then they scored early on Ramsey, and then they just calmed them down again, logic, and um, Tata Rippers' goal wins, wins that game. The 4-0 game, I think, was just showing how far Celtic have come. Also, the distance. Yes, it's nine points. I think there's more of a distance between the two clubs. I, I think then, yes, but if Michael Beal, I don't think... Really, it's, I think it's too early for Michael Beal. I'm just fair from a Celtic view. I'm just saying, I think it might be far too early for a Michael Beal to say... If, I, mean, I don't get the thing about Michael Beale disregarding Celtic in a way, saying they should be only three points behind Celtic. I mean, come on, you haven't been here like the whole time we've hammered you. And he said, oh, I mean, it's a uh, uh, so Oh, <sighs> oh I, 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 it baffles me, doesn't it? It absolutely baffles me. But um, hopefully it's minus 12 on Monday, you know, pick cold on Monday at the top of the table. Um, listen, I don't mind if we get a draw. You know, it's a tough place to go to. You just put that out there. It's a tough place to go to. Um, Rangers are in decent form, Michael Beale, new manager, and he will set up a way, um, obviously under Gerard that won a couple of, won games under, against us, um, not under post call, but, oh, yes, but not under Ger- uh, oh, Gerard first one, um, but except from that, you know, Gio's won one, Michael's not won anything yet, under himself as a manager, so we'll see how that goes on Monday, it's going to be a tough game, uh, I expect a very strong line at France post call, will it be yet Kyogo or Yakima, because I'll probably expect Kyogo. I feel sorry for the guy Yako, but he's he always just in flying form. But if Yako Marks wants to start on Monday, I would not be disappointed. He, he performed when Kyogo sadly had come off the game in September. Actually, worked out very well for us. It did. Cause it posed a different threat right away. And it baffled it. It, it made Rangers defence was all over the place when Yako came on. Um, he was built that, you know what I mean? Where Kyogo's got a run-in guy, where I, I'd see goals and then like, deal with Kyogo like that. I've just seen that from past games. But if Kyogo does start, it will pose a different threat, of course. So, um, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I expect Hart, Rouse, Ryan, which we could see him start. He's only come in three days, but, you know what I mean, Rousen probably. Carter Vickers, Starfelt, Taylor. Um, midfield says itself, McGregor, attack you, really. It's got to be that. It's got to be. McGregor's so crucial now how far he's back. It's brilliant. But you can see that, like, that Hibs game as well. He's all over the place. Um, I know you do feel you know it's picking out Aaron Moy, Aaron Aaron Moy, you know, um, because um he's performed really well, you know what I mean that last game two goals couldn't nearly had a hat trick um, <laughs> if well, he was on for a hat trick um, but you know you can feel bad for him if he doesn't start but you know you just got to focus on what you're trying to do attacking really you've got to put them there sensational but one of them will miss out um your front three is difficult as well tricky to pick out Jota. Abada, Kyogo, will it be Maeda? Maeda's on great form as well, a lovely goal, couple of misses on um, Wednesday night, but he did put that away when that lovely goal went in the back of the net, superb goal. So we'll see how it goes, I'm going to go 2-1 Celtic. I think, it, yeah, <laughs> two, yeah, I'm going to go 2-1. Uh, we did it last time in April, that's the last time we went to the Ibrooks. Um, I think we'll do it, I think we'll win. You've got to be confident. I think we all should be confident going into it. We're in great form. So is Rangers, but you've got to focus on yourself. We went with all players have been really good. We're, getting, we're scoring a variety from different positions and different players. So I don't see why we shouldn't be going there with a positive mind. Uh, of course, it's Derby game. Kind of stats like that go off the, the, the radar when it's a Derby game. But, um, yeah, 2 1. Yeah, I think we'll get up the three points, make it minus 12. Yeah, I think do. It might be more comfortable what I'm saying, but I'm just worried about. You know, I'm just saying it's eyebrows. You know, they get the fans behind them. Do you know what I mean? But if we do put a goal in the back of the net and, and it just shuts it all, it shuts the fans d- down up. You know, kind of atmosphere goes. You know, Celtic's way. It could tell a different story. It would go Celtic's way very well. But if Rangers do score first, like they're in April, but if we calm it down again and just go, you know, do what we do. You know, I don't see no reason why we don't win. But aye, that is the derby preview, and that is the kind of discussion of the signing. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on Monday for the match reaction of the first derby of 2023 and the first video of 2023.
like supporting 2022 and I'll see you in 2023.